Hi guys, today we are going to try something a little different for aquarium ornaments. Uh, I'm going to hydro dip some different things that we put in our aquariums, not necessarily ornaments, but just to give it a little bit more of an attractive feel. You know, we have a lot of these terracotta pots that we use in our tanks for like hides and different things for our fish to go in, or maybe you also grow aquatic plants out of these because you have uh, glass bottom tanks. So this is just a way to maybe make, just give it a little bit of zip to your fish tank with this stuff. Um, I also went out in my backyard and I found this just ugly rock. And we're gonna see if we can make it just a plain ugly rock look good in the fish tank. And then uh, I've also got a skull here. And uh, I had a challenge on my live stream on how to make a skull from the 70s. And I think I did a pretty good job, but I have one left over. So I'm gonna try to see if I can do something with this guy. Um, first thing I wanna do is I wanna prime all this stuff. And I'm gonna be using the Krylon Fusion for all of my painting. I don't use anything else, just Krylon Fusion is safe for your tank. We're gonna do one pot in white, one pot in black. We're gonna do the rock in gray, and I'm thinking about doing the skull in black. I'm just coating the rock so it's gonna be one solid color. And you could do this with any of the fusion colors. So you could go all brown. I just wanted to do a, a gray to make it real easy to see on the video. So I'm gonna do two different colors, black and white, so we can see what works best with these pots. And you know, one thing about a fish tank is normally people aren't seeing 360 degrees around the the pot or around the tank so you can hide the pot the batting side to the back of the tank now for the black So now with this skull, I've uh, done it in white and yellow. I want to see how it's going to look in a solid dark color this time. So that's why we're going to go black. And I'm not super concerned about getting it 100%. I, I don't mind if some of that gray shows through. I kind of like it. I'm just going to leave it alone and we're going to let this stuff dry and then we'll get to the next part of the project. Okay guys, I prepared the water. This is uh, where we actually do the hydro dipping and I, the first attempt I did was in the middle of the day and it worked perfect. Then I tried doing it a second time live on my live stream and the water was too cold I think. Now I've set this water out for a while. It's 82 degrees. 82 degrees in both tanks. Today, I, it's supposed to be about 80 degrees and it's with the humidity, it feels like 90. So uh, 82 is good for us. So what we're gonna do is I've set all my cans up with their their lids to the right, cord, you know, coordinating with them. Let's try our two terracotta cups and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do these in well we'll let's do one in rainbow colors and one in uh, not so rainbow 
So I'm just squirting it down in there and it's making like a rippling pattern through it. And each time I do this, it pushes the paint out to the outside. And I'm gonna try to do each one twice. <clears throat> so now I want to go and I'm going to wrap it down into the tank and I'm slowly wrapping it down and pulling it. That came out pretty cool. Now I'm just going to sit it out and let it dry. So now with this black one, let's try uh, like white, grays, and black. Ooh, blacks won't work on it as well. Well, you know what? I've got another color of gray. We'll put this gray right here. No point to using black on black. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down inside and kind of wrap it in. That came out real cool. So now we're going to put that down right there. And I'm going to get ready and do a skull. And the last time we did a skull, we did uh, white and yellow. This time I thought I'd try an all black skull, but I'm still gonna keep the bright colors. And we might do the skull more than once because it's a big surface, or it's, it's a lot of paint that has to go on it. I really like the yellow. So now the skull's going to go down. I think the skull came out pretty cool. So now we're going to just let that dry. And don't worry about the water drops right now. The water drops completely come off as it dries out and the paint gets on there real hard and tight when as it dries. So now the last thing we've got is the rock. I had a plain rock that I want to add striations to. This is our boring plain rock. I painted it light gray, so we aren't going to use the light gray, but we're going to do Black, uh-oh, black might be running out. Gray and white. And I think I'm gonna try another shot of the gray. And this time I'm gonna try to spread it out more. Well, maybe a little shot of black in the middle. Okay, so now I want to get these three sides on real good. So let's see how we do. Or actually, maybe we want to go this way. 
Look at that. That is a beautiful rock, guys. That came out perfect. So basically what I've done is I've taken a boring plain rock. I've used Fusion Krylon paints to give it amazing, awesome striations. Guys, I couldn't, that's, that's perfect. So now I'm just gonna let all these things dry and y'all know how to add a little zip to some things that you might want to add to your fish tank. Completely safe. Krylon Fusion, thank you so much. We'll catch you on the next craft.